What you doing, booby? Are you playing with your toys? I love you so much. Oh, yes I do. Oh, that's the toy I made him, you guys, and he just loves it. Oh, yeah? Okay. So I wanted to come in and show you guys. Oh, by the way, hey dolls. And hey, my YouTube family. Um, I wanted to come in and show you guys the finished do-it-yourself Z palette made out of a DVD case and a decorative duct tape. So, I would say it took me about, I'm going to say, let's just give it an hour. And the only reason for that is because I took breaks, but it took me about a good hour to finish the full palette. I'm sure I could do one quicker now that I figured out how I like to do it. Um, you know, I kind of put my own little twist on it, but this was not my original idea, you guys. I definitely got this idea from other people who I had mentioned in my previous videos. I will have all the descriptions and information on them down in the description bar. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished product. And I think it turned out pretty good, considering that it's an old DVD case. So it has leopard print on the back. I tried to do the sides leopard print as well, but it just wasn't working out, so I decided just to cut it with the box cutter because all you're going to need to make this palette is a box cutter which I got this box cutter for a dollar at the dollar store by my house but I know Dollar Tree carries box cutters for a dollar as well scissors which I already had at my house um, I found that these ones worked better than my hair cutting scissors that I use for everything <laughs> and um, duct tape which I also got for a dollar by my house um, at the dollar store by my house which you can see it's almost this one's almost done but I bought ten of these because I knew I was gonna make a couple pallets because um, the duct tape that you get for a dollar because you can also get the same duct tape at um, the Dollar Tree for a dollar it's not as thick the roll isn't as thick as the duct tape that you could get at like um, Walmart or Kmart or Myers or Target for three ninety nine I think it's like three ninety nine to five dollars for the decorative duct tape at those stores um, and it, it does have a little bit more product on it but this works just fine um, I'm kinda wishing that I would have bought instead of all zebra like half leopard half ze or all leopard I mean cheetah whatever um, that I would have bought some zebra and stuff so I'm gonna have to go back and get some different kinds tomorrow cuz I kinda wanna make you know maybe even do a leopard zebra one together you know something different um, so yeah, that's all you're going to need to make this, so it's a fairly inexpensive project, and um, yeah. So I wanted to show you guys the palette before I actually put eyeshadows in it. I'm going to make a couple more, because I know I'm going to need a couple of these to um, put all my Wet n Wild shadows in, and then I also have my Flirt eyeshadows that I think I'm going to put in these. So like I said, it's a leopard print on the back, and then on the top, and then obviously all four um sides have leopard print on it as well and then when you open it up and the good thing about this is I've realized you kind of gotta like I had that open already but when it's actually shut because I'm only working with one hand here um you, it's it shuts good because it snaps it's it's not gonna just open fall open you know what I mean so when you open it up this is what it looks like obviously the plastic from the DVD is right there um and on my palette, a lot of the ones that I've seen on YouTube, um, they didn't put duct tape right here to cover up the other duct tape on the other side. And I decided to do that just because, it, with what I have found, it makes the plastic part more sturdy, more stiff. So that's why I did that. It gives more um, sturdiness to all four sides. So, you know, I just cut the tape and made it fit and then kind of tucked it under because, you know... I didn't put the duct tape over the black piece because I didn't feel that I needed to. Um, and then I put the leopard print duct tape down on the bottom as well. Um, and then I just, you know, took the box cutter and cut it 
to where it was even, you know, an even edge. And um, there's no magnet under here because I am just going to glue the shadows into this palette. I probably will make a couple magnetic ones just because I think it'll be nice to switch them out with, you know, certain shadows. But for my Wet n Wild, I don't need to switch them out, so I'm just going to glue them down. And I don't know if I'm going to use hot glue yet or if I'm going to use my Ducco Cement um, because I know with the hot glue... Um, you can take them out if you want to, you know what I mean? Um, so I might do that. I'm not sure how it's going to work on the the duct tape, if you're going to be able to take that off, though. But I don't know. We'll see how it works. I don't really feel that I need to, you know, um, switch them out. And if I ever have to, like I said, I'm sure you could pull the glue off. So this is how it turned out, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it's going to be a nice little project for me to... Um, make, you know, a quantity of these and 2D pot all my shadows into them. Because, honestly, um, I just, I really think it, it, you know, it's a good idea. And I thank you ladies, um, for, you know, doing the do-it-yourselves on the Z palette. Because, um, I know the return queen, she was the one who I, well, I seen, um, you know, like I said, I'll have all the information down below because I don't remember names offhand right now, all of them. But there are three women that I, it's either three or four that I'm going to put down in the description bar. But I know the return queen was, um, her video was um, inspiration to quite a few women to make palettes like this. And she had said that she's seen this on YouTube herself and it wasn't her original idea. But I have been searching through YouTube for months, even over a year and I had never seen a video like this um so I don't know where she found the original video but um I thank you for posting yours because I wouldn't have been able to do this without that video and also the um I feel like I have to say their names because I feel horrible they're the ones that um you know gave me the inspiration to do this so let me find real quick I was watching Encore I love him um, I just think he's fabulous. Uh, okay. He was also one of the first YouTubers that I ever watched. Um, Makeup Geek was the first that I ever watched on YouTube. Queen of Blending was the second. Encore was the third. And then it goes on from there. But they, they were the first makeup artist slash, um, you know, kind of, I guess, beauty gurus um, that I ever watched on YouTube. And that was quite a while ago because... I've been watching YouTube for some years now. I actually had a channel before this channel, but I just never uploaded videos to it. And after not going on it for a while, I honestly forgot the password. So I just made another channel, and that is the channel that you guys are on now. So let me see here. Um, favorites. Okay. <clears throat> then I seen this one right here. But um, her... Uh, channel is all in a different language so I couldn't understand what she was saying in the directions but her Z palette looks like an actual real Z palette like I think she made it like how they make the Z palettes um but unfortunately I, I couldn't understand the directions but her her video was really cool to watch because you could watch her put it together um but okay I gotta find there's a lot of I have a lot of favorites on here right now so I have to find the videos that might take a minute but I hope you guys try this out because I think it, it really turned out pretty cool. You know, you just have to be patient with the cutting because if you try to go too fast, um, you're going to end up screwing it up because that's what I did. I um, totally cut in half two different, um, <laughs> two different DVD cases. Okay, here we go. Um, so the first one, the first video I seen was from this girl's channel right here, this woman's channel. She's so sweet. I've actually I actually talked to her on here. I hope they don't mind that I'm putting their information in the description bar, but I just want you guys to go check out their channels because they're I'm really enjoying their channels. So it is T E A S H A D L Y N C H. And like I said, I will have her information in the bar down below. And this is her channel right here. She's very sweet. So that's where I seen the first video. And she actually got her inspiration from the Return Queen. And, whoops. Sorry, guys, I'm going too fast here. And this was her video 
if you guys seen the picture, sorry, see right there. This was her video on her palette um, that she made like this. So um, that's where the inspiration came from, from the first lady that I watched. And then I proceeded to, so I'll have all their information so you can check them out. Then I proceeded to kind of search a little bit more to see if I could find um, other people that had done this. And then I found her channel. And she does one with where she like does the paper, she designs the paper. Um, and her channel is the H-O-R-C-U-T-T, -T, the whore cut. Um, and if you could see, she does hers where she like cuts out a design in the paper, which is also a good idea. So hers isn't pertaining duct tape. Um, and then she also did a do-it-yourself lipstick holder out of foam board with a drawer, which is really cool. And she also did a palette a do-it-yourself palette holder out of foam board, um, almost like a cupboard. It was really cool. So definitely, I will have all their links down below so you guys can check them out um, because, you know, the Return Queen actually has a do-it-yourself video and she shows you step-by-step -step how to do this. I actually watched it yes last night while I was making it. I watched it as I went along, and then once I pretty much figured out what I was doing on my own, you know, I just kind of did what I had to do to make it um and then yeah so this is how it turned out guys and I am very happy with it um I'm excited to make more I'm gonna go get some different colored tapes because like I said at my dollar store they had leopard print cheetah print um zebra black and white zebra pink and black zebra they had tie-dyed they had full solid colors like hot pink lime green um they had a bunch of different decorative tapes. There was a whole like little aisle just for decorative duct tape. So yeah, I'm excited to um, keep making these. So I will definitely do an update once I, you know, get shadows in this one or I make a couple more and I, you know, get my shadows glued in. And I will show you what it looks like when the shadows are in it. So I just wanted to show you how it turned out, and I'm really happy with the outcome. I hope you guys give it a whirl, because I think it's a great and expensive way to store your makeup. Especially, you know, items that, uh, you know, like your drugstore items. Because, like I said, I am in no way, shape, or form saying that I don't like Z palettes. The Z palette is actually my favorite freeform palette that I have ever bought. I will continue to buy them, but I like to use them for my my more higher end makeup. So I think this is perfect to get rid of clutter with my drugstore makeup, um, you know, and just be able to pop my quads and make more room in my makeup collection. And it's nice to have everything in one palette, I think, you know. So I just think this is a great idea and, like I said, an inexpensive way to do that. So, oh, and I will also have the link down below to the Z Palette website because they are wonderful. So I love you all. Um, I think I'm going to probably start to, you know, gluing in my shadows and maybe making some more tonight. I don't have any plans, so yeah. And also I have a mini haul coming up just to show you guys some lip glosses and a couple things that I picked up. Nothing big. Um, and I've been searching for the Black Radiance lipsticks and the Milani lipsticks, and I just haven't come across them yet. So, I'm not going to freak out <laughs> like I did when I couldn't find the um, Maybelline Color Sensational Vivids, because I eventually found them. But I did find out today, because I went to Walgreens, um, that my Walgreens by my house does not carry Black Radiance or Milani which I know that I've seen a couple hauls here on YouTube where they had bought those two brands from Walgreens. So I'm going to have to go check out the Walgreens. There's another one by my house that's a little bit farther, but not much more. We're going to go check that out tomorrow, I think, and hopefully I can find them there. If not, I'm going to have to check out the CVSs by my house um, in the Rite Aid. So I love you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye.